Ron and Christina here. We're going to look at Sunday's ninth and feature race. It's five furlongs on the turf. We got ladies sprinting on the grass, and it's the ladies' turf sprint. And I started off in here with number seven, Runway Ready, who couldn't have been more impressive when she returned from an almost eight month layoff to defeat $50,000 a starter uh, allowance competition. She won that race by five lengths. She got a 93 buyer for her performance. So I'm hoping she doesn't bounce, but that's who I'm putting on the ticket. Who did you see in the uh, ladies' turf sprint? I just want to say Gary Contest was the trainer of, uh, of Runway Rennie. He's just been he's been my go-to guy. I didn't use him in here, but I can see why you have, and you always get good value with him. I went with number one, Madame Gary, and I just, you know, even though she hasn't broken through, or she hasn't come through with a win uh, since last uh, fall, when she, and her latest of which was uh, at Keeneland, I just think that she's just the most consistent type. She's always running, and she's always in the mix of things, and uh, if you go back to Saratoga, ran a very impressive race back in August in the Smart and Fancy, and I like the Philly she beat that day, Rose Salvaje. So I think that last, the latest race, uh, she was fourth, uh, beaten a couple of lengths uh, on January 25th. But I think she's going to get back onto the winning scheme and things. Well, the connections must have been dancing in the street when they didn't see Shrinking Violet in the <laughs> yeah, race. But like... Shrinking Violet has beat her twice in a row. It's the third race of her current form cycle. She's got a lot of class. Got to run the ticket, too. The other horse I used was Queens of Waters of Stakes when it's sprinting on the grass at Keeneland. I thought I'd throw that horse somewhere in there. And, uh, you know, the big chink in her armor, She's zero for eight on the Gulf Stream turf, so I'm not going to have her to win, but I'm going to put her somewhere on my ticket. Another horse that I used was number five. That's Believe in Charlie, and uh, she's coming into this off of a victory last time out and pretty good uh, buyer speed figure as well. So at five furlongs, and she's handled the turf, and she likes the distance, so I'm going to put her in there to hopefully hit the board again. Well, come out and join us tomorrow and watch the ladies sprint at five furlongs on the turf. Should be a lot of fun.